Hello, welcome back. I'm called Jingo Nelly, and I'm going to be taking you through another part of uh, time value of money. And before I begin off, I'm going to require you to subscribe and uh, also follow what I'm pointing out for you to be able to pick up very well. So with the present value of an annuity, this is our formula in this uh, uh, rectangle. So the present value is equal to the annual installment square brackets 1 minus uh, brackets 1 plus R brackets to the power negative N divided by R. You close off with the square brackets. This will be our formula. So example 1 here. They are saying Jane has an annual living expense amounting to uh, uh, Yugi X uh, 1,800,000 received at the end of each year. She has been saving her salary to be able to cater for her needs for the next 20 years, but she has not. She, she has no idea how much she need. She needs exactly. Uh, needs exactly. Uh, full stop. Jane has an account which attracts interest rate of eight percent on savings with Housing Finance Bank. Advise her on how much she needs to deposit today to be able to cater for her needs um, for the next 20 years. So with this, going into the solution, I'm going to start with my formula, which is uh, PV is equal to the annual installment, uh, as I have uh, written it down here. Then after that, I extract out the vital information from the previous question, whereby I was having my annual installment as... This was the annual, uh, my annual living expense amounting to this. So this was my annual installment of this. And then uh, square brackets 1 minus 1, uh, my, mm, square, sorry, 1 minus bracket 1 plus 0 0.08. This is got by this, whereby I say R, uh, which is the interest rate is equal to 8%, which is equal to 8 divided by 100, giving you 0 0.08, which I come and I drop here. We already know the N, which is 20 years, then a minus 20 years, divide by 0 0.08. So me, after doing that, uh, I move on to this. Then I say 1 minus this plus this. I get this brackets uh, to the power negative 20 and divide by 0 0.08. So after me knowing that, I continue. I do this, I work out for this, I get this divided by the 0 0.08. So me after getting this, it, I will learn to my answer as this. So the 1 million 800 and uh, 808, the 1 million or the 1.8 million times the answer which I've gotten. Uh, so my PV is equal to uh, 17 million 674,200. So this will be my what? my answer so therefore i can conclude therefore j needs to deposit uh this amount today to be able to cater for her needs for the next 20 years so with that i'll be done with the present value of uh, of an annuity or how to determine need so moving on i'll be moving on to the present value of uh, uneven cash flows now with this uh where cash flow where cash flows are not uniform the present value of a series of such cash flows is determined by the formula for example if i'm um, to take uh, an assumption that if at all i'm given three years i'm going to say uh, the present value if at all i want to determine the present value of an even cash flows the present value is equal to a new uh, the a new an annual installment divided by the one plus r brackets to the power one of that one year same to the second year same to the third year i continue till depending on the number of years being given but in this case i've been uh, i've been given three years so i'll end at three years and after me summing up this 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 i'll be getting my present value of the uneven cash flows so that is that with the formula for uh, determining the present value of one, even cash flows. Then uh, looking at continuous cash flows, these are like payments that go on forever. For example, for a lump sum, it is the future value is equal to the present value uh, times E R uh, to the power R T. So whereby this E will be equal to this. 
but how do i get this i'm going to go on my colleague i press shift plus the in button plus one plus the equal sign whereby r will be my interest rate t will be my number of years so this is how i do it i'm going to go to my colleague i press shift then after pressing shift i go to the in then one is equal to one sorry equals it's going to give me this so that is what i have used here uh this is what i have used to get this then for an annuity for an annuity it's always called perpetual annuities so for it it's given by the formula pv is equal to a divided by r so moving on uh moving on to the perpetual annuities uh, an example for this we are having an example an investor is offered a financial instrument that pays coupon rates of uh, 10 million per year and continues for an infinite amount of time uh, assuming a uh, discount rate is uh, quoted at five percent per annum how much would an investor be willing to pay for the instrument today so it will be by our formula pv is equal to the annual instrument divided by the r whereby r will be five divided by 100 giving me 0 0.05 so pv is equal to the 10 million divided by the 0 0.05 so pv is equal to the, the 200 million so therefore i conclude and said 200 million is the amount the investor will be willing to pay for the instrument today so that will that was an example to do with the perpetual annuities then after that i will just look at the annuities due and with annuities due from what we had discussed from our previous audios, annuities due, these are uh, annuities that occur at the beginning of every time interval. Now, for the future value, this is the formula. It is like for an ordinary annuity, it is like for an ordinary annuity, and then I, I time it with the 1 plus R in this bracket. So it will be future value is equal to the annuity uh, square brackets brackets 1 plus R brackets to the power N minus 1 divided by R. So if I, if I told you I to cover this, this will be the this will be the future value. This will be the future value of an ordinary annuity. But if I to add this, then it becomes the uh, it will become a, a complete formula for the annuities due. Then same to the present value of uh, an, an uh, of annuities due. You you write the you get right the formula of the ordinary annuity of the finding when, when finding its present value and then you add that the one uh, the brackets one plus r. So the same is PV is equal to the annuity square brackets one minus brackets one plus r to the power uh, negative n uh, divided by r. And from this, this is it. So this will be the complete formula for the annuities due. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe.